What can you tell us about this painting? Uh, what happened with this painting is a friend of hers gave it to her when her friend's mother died. And it was uh, something that was left that nobody wanted in the family. And so she took it. And she realized that it might be worth something, and she wasn't sure. It looks to her like it's a defrager, mm -hmm. who was Hitler's favorite artist. But the signature didn't look like a defrager signature to her. Right. Defrager, during his, his, his period of production in the 19th century, his signature actually changed three times. We have three recorded different signatures of the artist Franz von Defrager. And this does not, unfortunately, match or gel to any of the three forms. The F changes, the D changes, the G changes periodically over a period of 30 years, essentially. But let's look at the, let's look at the back as well. Here we've got a Berlin stamp mark on this. It's painted on panel. There was something attributed over here as well. We have a Chicago framer right here. What this is essentially telling us is you have an attribution as opposed to an original. He is actually, Defrager is actually very active on the uh, auction market as we speak. His paintings go from anywhere from $600 into five figures, <clears throat> depending on subject matter, scale, and, and, and the period in which they were painted. You have a very nice studio reproduction here. These are sometimes called artist's proofs or done exclusively for resale uh, at galleries or studios. Good painting? Could we say it's a Defrager? No. Could we attribute it to Defrager? Loosely. But we would certainly not say that this is an original painting done by Franz von Defrager. So essentially, what do we have here? We have a studio rendering of a Defrager painting. How do we value that? We're going to value it essentially from its decorative its decorative attribution, its decorative style, and ultimately that's how we're going to do the price on this particular piece. Fine, fine rendering, very well done. I would say as a decorative piece, not antique, not with an attribution, I would put this uh, in the range of $950 to $1,200 for this particular painting. Had it been an original, it would probably be about $15,000 for this particular piece. So we do have a little bit of a range issue there, but once again, it's a lovely, lovely piece of representational work.